In this video, we're going to use Logger Pro's video analysis tool to analyze the motion of a projectile. If you go to Schoology, you'll see this assignment, Watch Projectile Video Analysis Lab. The purpose is to determine the relationship between horizontal position with time and vertical position with time for a projectile. So this is going to end up being a double lab where when we analyze and conclude in our lab reports, we're going to be thinking about both horizontal position with time and vertical position with time. The first thing to do is download the attached logger profile and video file. So download the logger profile and download the video file. Um, hopefully you know where your downloads are going. You can always click if you have a PC, show in folder, and it will show you exactly what folder um, you just downloaded to. So this is all going to my downloads folder. And I downloaded the projectile video stuff a lot. Okay. So open up the logger profile. And the first thing that we're going to do is insert the video that we downloaded. So go to insert movie, which is funny, uh, and then find that video you downloaded. I would click this little top bar right here and try and desperately find my downloads folder. Aha, here it is. So go to my downloads folder and I've got the projectile video downloaded a hundred times, well, four. I'll pick any of them and voila. Okay, so the video has been loaded into Logger Pro, but we have to first turn on the video analysis feature. You do that by clicking this button in the bottom right hand corner that says enable disable video analysis. You click that button and a little toolbar will open up. And also behind the video, a graph was created, but we don't need to be able to see it just yet. Okay, so there are some options in this toolbar, um, different things that we can do. The, the first thing that we want to do is click this yellow ruler, which is the one, two, three, fourth button from the top, and it will let us set the scale of our video. So if you notice, there is a meter stick in this, in this video. And that's for us to be able to set the scale um, of how many pixels is equal to one meter. So we're going to click on the back end of the meter stick and then drag. So you click and drag and there's this green line that's being created. And you're going to click all the way to the end of the meter stick and then let go. Then it's going to ask you how long is this green line? And you're going to tell it, well, this green line is on one meter, so one meter. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is tell Logger Pro what our 0x and 0y positions are going to be. Or, you know, what, what pixel is 0, 0. We want this pixel right here in the middle of the steel ball at the edge of this cannon barrel to be our origin. So to do this, we're going to go to the third button from the top, set origin, and then click right on the edge of the barrel at the center of the steel ball. And boom. Now we have a vertical and horizontal axis uh, with the origin at the launch point from the, the barrel of this little air cannon. Okay, next we're going to go to add point. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little steel projectile. Uh, and when we when it does that, it's going to mark the position at that frame and then advance onto the next frame. Also, if you want, feel free to just watch the video file. It's just a little steel ball being uh, launched out of this air cannon that we will use in some other demonstrations. Anyway, so I click on the position of the ball and boom, it puts a little blue dot where the ball was and then it advances one frame so that I can click on the ball again and mark its next position. And then I mark its next position. So you keep doing this, trying to click on the center of the ball and it keeps advancing each video frame. And Logger Pro knows exactly how much time uh, is in between each frame and it is marking the positions at those time intervals. Now once you get to the very bottom, something weird is going to happen. You're going to get right here, now pay close attention, and suddenly when you click on the ball, it, it goes in like a really weird direction. So what happened is the ball hit the table and bounced up, but it did it so quickly that the camera did not um, catch that motion from the frame uh, just before this. So, you know, this frame right here, it caught the motion, it hit the table and bounced up, and this is the next frame. So we're going to ignore this. Do not click the position of the object there. Okay, so now we have the trajectory. And in the back uh, here, I can click this little button that lets me go back. And it's really fun. 
you can watch the projectile go out of the air cannon and its path get traced through. You can also, if you want, um, press play and it will shoot it, which is pretty cool. Okay, now that we have um, we've measured the X and the Y position uh, of the projectile at different times using this video analysis tool, let's take a look at our graph. To look at our graph, we're going to go to Page Auto Arrange, and this will get the video out of the way. Okay, now I can see this graph. And my video file, oh, undo. Did I break it? Okay. Mm, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I'm going to resize this video file a little bit just so that it fits nicely. Okay, great. So this X and Y um, graph right here, I've got X in red and Y in blue, and it's graphed against time. The time was calculated uh, by the frame of each video frame and the positions we measured them by choosing pixels and saying them how far they are relative to zero. You should notice that the X or the horizontal position varies with time linearly. It's a very obvious linear relationship. But Y varies with time, the vertical position varies with time, in this sort of curved sense. So to figure out exactly what the relationship with Y is, let's get it on its own graph. To do that, we're going to go to Insert Graph, and then click Page Auto Arrange again, and that way I've got my two graphs nicely arranged on longer plot. Now, the top graph, let's just put X. So to, to do that, we're going to click on um, the actual label of the vertical axis and then select only X. And now I have X versus time. And for this second graph underneath, I'm not really interested in the Y velocity. I'm going to click that label and then choose Y. Okay, so now I've got the horizontal positions on my top graph and the vertical positions on my bottom graph. Let's, before we analyze any of this, let's label these graphs. So to do that, you can either right-click and select Graph Options, or you can double-click the graph, and it will take you to Graph Options. This one is the horizontal position versus time graph. Click Done. And then this uh, Y is vertical position. So again, right-click Graph Options or double-click vertical position versus time. Okay, now we've labeled the graphs. Good job. Um, when you do your lab report, you're going to print out each of these graphs. And remember, you can easily do that by um, right-clicking and copying the graph and then pasting it into a like a Google Doc full file, you know, or a Word file. You can do that the same here. You can copy it. Or you know what? Did you know you can copy the table, the data table? You can also do that. Or you can go to File, Print, Data Table, Print, Graph. Anyway, you're going to use both graphs in your lab report. We don't always use both graphs, but this is a double lab report, so you can use both graphs. Okay, let's analyze X and Y with time. For the X versus T, or the horizontal position versus time graph, let's select all this data, and it's obviously linear, so let's perform a linear fit. You can either click this linear fit button or go to analyze linear fit. Now I have a line of best fit. And there is a slope of 1.759, which I know is going to be a velocity since this is position versus time. And since it's for x, it's probably going to be a horizontal velocity. Now let's take a look at y. I select all the data on the y graph. Um, and it's not linear, so I can't click the linear button. Instead, what I'm going to do is go to Analyze Curve Fit, because this data is curved. Now, there are all kinds of different curved lines that we could try to fit to our data. What we have to do is choose from all of these crazy options. Um, we know it's not linear. That would be this one right here. Uh, I think maybe it's quadratic. Do you think that looks quadratic? I think it looks quadratic. So let's pick the quadratic op option, a t squared plus bt plus c, where we've got a, b, and c um, as our constants in um, the quadratic equation. And what we have to do first is we have to try this equation to see if it can fit the data. So we click this button, Try Fit, and it tries to fit a quadratic equation to all of our data. And then it gives us a correlation and a root mean square error. A correlation of 1 is perfect, and a root mean square error of 0 is perfect. 
uh, so we're really, really close. Um, I like this line. I think it's quadratic. Let's press OK. All right. Now you can see from this line of best fit, this quadratic line of best fit, that we have an A term of negative 4.9, a B term of 0 0.1079, and a C term of negative 0 0.002. In our lab analysis video, we're going to talk about what each of these things mean. Um, but for right now, all you have to do is save this logger profile with the lines of best fit on it. So go to File, Save As, and then save this file somewhere you can find it. Probably your desktop. Your desktop is super easy. And get rid of this thing that says blank and put your name. Okay, so save the file. Then go back to the logger pro assignment and you are going to upload that logger profile to this assignment. Once you've done that, this assignment is complete and you can go ahead and move on to the next assignment, which is watching the analysis of projectile video, this post lab video. Um, and you're going to take notes and it's going to walk you through what you need to be able to do to write your lab report with the data that we just got from our video analysis of projectile motion. Congratulations, this video is done.